Well good morning everybody and um, what a beautiful day we've got here again today. It was gorgeous yesterday as well. So we've had a couple of good days on the trot, really nice. Now what I'm going to be doing today with a bit of luck is getting the temporary filter, the pressure filter, ready to be connected up to the pond. So I want to get all that ready because I want to start on my project tomorrow. So that'll be all the alterations to the RDF and the pre-pump filter, getting all that in and get it connected up. That's all going to start to happen now. I'll keep you guys up to date as we go along. But yeah, it's all go at the moment. Right, well that's the pressure filter. I've just dug it out and I've got to find the couplings for it now to couple it up to the pipework. I'm not quite sure what I did with them, so I've got to find them. But that's the one I'll be using just to filter the water because I'm going to keep water running through my Bakke River and through and into the moving bed. I want to keep them going. I want to keep the bacteria alive in them. So I want to keep flowing water through them while I've got my RDF shut down just to keep things ticking over and working. So I'm going to give that a good clean up. As you can see, I haven't used it in years. Like I say, we'll give that a good clean up and get it ready to run. Now, somebody asked me quite some time ago if I could uh, show them how one of these filters go together. Apparently they'd taken theirs apart and was having difficulty getting it back together. So what I'll do is I'll just give mine a rinse out because I shall need it next week. So I'm going to do a little video of how it all fits together. Boom on. Right, that's the fine foam, then the coarse foam, and like that. Then we get this piece here, goes down, onto there, and turns through slightly. Get it. Like so. I hope I'm not in the, in the way here. I'll just move around the side a bit more. And this piece on top into there. Fine foam. Horse. turn it to make sure it locks in position. This piece onto there, like so. Make sure they slot well into position. Fine foam, coarse foam, and then the last piece onto there, like so. Slide it down, turn it and lock it into position. And there you go. Filter all put back in position. Now when you're doing these filters and taking them apart to clean them, it's always best to take one part off at a time and then lay them in a row. As you take each piece off, lay them in a row and then the last piece off, you know, that'll be the first piece that's got to go back on and each piece individually after that. Well, they're all in sequence, so if you keep them in sequence, you don't get them mixed up and you know how they go on the filter. So you'll know which bit is the next bit to fit back onto the filter itself. So it's always best if you lay them out in a line just as you take them off, so that you know the last one off must be the first one back on. Well, there we go. That's given the pressure filter a good clean up. That's got it ready. Like I say, now I've got to go and see if I can find all the couplings for it so that we can get it connected up. That's got that job done anyway. As you can see in here, I've got all the space cleared out. I did originally want to come from the actual filter that was going to stand there straight into the pump, but I couldn't. 
there's not enough room to get all that pipe work in so I've had to go off the other side and then come off with a 90 and then it'll go to the pump which is a bit of a shame I didn't want them two 90s on it but uh, not to worry it should fit in there now with a little bit of luck okay there we go that's all the piping done as far as I can get it coming out of the pre-pump filter so I've got all that done and it's all solvent welded together so until I cut the other piping out of my shed I can't do any more this end I've got as much done as I can I've got the shed ready the other end so it's all ready for me to start cutting it out and getting this fitted in but I can't do that until I shut my um, filters down and that'll be in a couple of days time the pond's all good I've got no problems in there it's been really good this year I've really enjoyed the pond and my fish of course the plants I've put in, I know uh, you'll remember that I repotted that one and it was only quite small when I put it in the basket. They do soon grow and what I do find is the bits that you can see that go into the pond, the koi seem to enjoy pulling them off. So whether that would be a good idea to keep the uh, fish off your lilies or not, I don't know, but they do seem to enjoy going around them and pulling all those straggly bits off, which is a good thing anyway because it stops it growing across your pond. But they do pull all the growing leaves off them things that's shooting into your pond. As you can see there, they've pulled them all off this side slowly. That was stretched out across the pond, but they've pulled it to bits and kept it trimmed for me. So, uh, very good of them, I think. But yeah, pond's all good. My lawn needs cutting. I shall have to tell the wife. She can get the mower out and do that. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> But yeah, all's good in there. My plant has had one or two bashings, but it keeps coming back. It keeps fighting back. So all credit due to it. But it has really spread out. This thing's gone mad. I shall put, plant these again next year. Even the uh, blue is starting to come through now, the mauve color. It's creeping down the step. The actual uh, pot for it, I took off the wall and stood it on the breakfast area the actual pot it's in is here somewhere across there so all this has grown from the pot and down the down towards the pond so absolutely brilliant that I love that definitely do one of them again because I don't think they last you can't keep them till the next year I don't think but somebody might be able to tell me it's just recovering from another bashing so it's coming back well again but yeah, all's good in there, so I'm going to start to get this pressure filter sorted out now, get it ready, so that I can switch it on and get it running. Right, well here we go then. That's coming straight from the pond into the little pressure filter. I've covered it down to keep it out of the sun, basically. And then the pipe runs around and across and into the shed. Around here. through there and it will eventually be in the uh, filter I don't need it in there at the moment so to stop any siphon in effect I've just taken it out for now but it will actually be just there so I'll be running like that that's my temporary filter while I get all the work on the RDF and the pump pre-filter get all that sorted out could take me a couple of days I'm hoping I'm going to get it done in a couple of days Keep my fingers crossed anyway that everything goes okay. Well, today's the day. It all gets shut down and we start on the maintenance. Looks a nice day for it as well. The pump's all ready and connected through the pressure filter. And in the shed, I'm now going to drain the moving bed. We'll get that drained down and uh, get the RDF disconnected, block the pipes off on the moving bed so that I can fill it up again and keep the bacteria alive in there. I should keep, as you know, the river running as well. I should keep that running, keep water going through it so I don't lose any bacteria. So here we go guys, let's get stuck in. That's the RDF connect disconnected. We've got it disconnected from the rest of the setup now. I've blanked off the two two inch inlets. They're blanked off. 
it's full of water again now so the bacteria it was without water for about five minutes I think so I'm hoping I'm all right I should be all right at that there was some water in the bottom in the very bottom so that will have kept a lot of it moist the river's up and running we've got that running off the 10,000 litre an hour pump now so that's pumping water into there so that's keeping that going so now I can get on with some maintenance. I'm going to start with the RDF, get bits done to that I can, as soon as I can. It's all go from now on. Right, well at the end of day one, we've got it all to pieces. We've got it all clean out. Uh, the petition wall's up there, ready to go in. I'm just waiting for a couple of bits of metal. I'm waiting for some angle, so uh, I won't get that until tomorrow. But that's at the end of day one. We've got it all to pieces, the river and the moving bed are running. I've got all my bits down there, as you can see, all ready to go back. I've given the mesh a good clean out. As soon as my metal's here, I can get cracking. But we'll see what tomorrow brings. I want to go do a modification on the guttering at the moment, so I'm going to go down there and have a look at that. Well, good morning everybody. It's a bit of a dull morning this morning, no sun at all and they say we could get a bit of rain, I hope not but I've still got to press on I did show you the shed yesterday as we finished so I've got to uh, strike up and get stuck in again in here we've got to get all this done I've got to push on with it as hard as I can. I'm hoping to get uh, the new filter all installed and it won't be up and running but I want to get it all installed today if possible. Get all the pipe work done for that. I'm still waiting for me uh, metal pieces to come. The stainless steel bits to come for the uh, RDF. I've had them modified so that uh, the, in the petition wall will be easier to take in and out basically. I can get it in and out easier. But I'm going to press on. It's early morning, so I can't make too much noise else I'll upset the neighbours. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all happening today, so I'm going to get stuck in and get as much done as I possibly can. Okay, just a quick update. I've got the uh, pre-filter. It is actually piped up to the pond now. Well, you can see at the back there. It's all piped up to the pond. I've got to uh, pipe it to the pump. So I've just got that to do. What I'm going to do is give me pump a good clean up and a clean out first. I'll just whip it to bits, make sure it's all clean and then we'll get it in. But that's a quick update. We're piped up to the pond with the new filter. I would just like to say a big thank you to Jim W. He's uh, sent me a present and absolutely brilliant Jim. Thank you very much. He's done a badge as well for my jacket. So uh, my YouTube emblem, absolutely brilliant done it on a hat for me really appreciate that Jim thank you very much brilliant okay it's now about half past eight at night and I've had enough today <laughs> I've uh, been on the go all day now I'm going to come inside I hope the pump's not going to be too loud that air pump and I'm not quite sure I don't think I can get out of the light what you can see it's getting dark outside but the pump's in I've just got to uh, run the pipes around the 40 mil now. All the pump connect, all the pond connections done, and that's all connected up. So great stuff. I've just got that, like I say, that 40 mil to shoot around there in the morning, and that'll be the filter in and connected. So uh, it'll be back on the RDF then. Great stuff. But that's it today. I'm whacked. I've been on the go since 8 o'clock this morning, so I've had 12 hours at it. That's enough for me. I'm going to go get a cup of tea. See you guys in the morning. Right guys, this is day three. Wow, what a plumbing job that was. I never dreamt it would be that big. Yeah, devil, it took some plumbing up. But uh, it's all in there now. All the plumbing is done. I don't really want to turn the pump off, the air pump. So I'm going to have to leave it running, but that's the plumbing job, as you can see, quite a task. <laughs> but we got there, the pump now sits down there, the inflow from the pre-filter and then the two 43mm lines back out to the RDF. It'll be all go when we try running that. I've just got the RDF to do now, 
while I was doing that plumbing I decided just to give it a cheer up and I've whipped a coat of paint just to cheer it up basically and it looks like new again spot on I've got to get the RDF rebuilt with the new wall in it and that's about it we should be able to strike it all up and get it going so I can't wait but I've got to get the RDF done first let's get that sorted out you see I told you the wife was going to cut the lawns <laughs> she's, she's cutting the lawns bless her you can see what sort of state we've been in in here I have done a bit of a clear up but you can see what sort of state we've been in I've had stuff everywhere the top of that uh, moving bed was full of stuff so I've had a quick clear up before I showed you like it <laughs> but there you go but it's all ready that's, that's all, all done. done and ready for a strike up and see how things go keep our fingers crossed eh but let's get on with the RDF now I'm going to get stuck into that well it's about nine o'clock at night now so I'm going to give up and go in I've had enough today I've been on it all day and I'm about pooped I don't mind telling you I'm going to go in for a cup of tea I've got the RDF pretty much built I've just got to uh, it's the finer bits get all the Jubilee clips on it get the mesh on it and then it's down to reconnecting I've got most of it done all the hard work done the petition walls in and fixed I'm going to get a cup of tea <laughs> 